The shadow is a concept found within almost every culture around the world. But the term the shadow was first popularized in the West by the Swiss psychiatrist Carl Gustav Jung. Jung used the term shadow to describe any aspects of the unconscious mind that we have rejected, denied, or disowned. Jung said that the shadow was the dark side of the human psyche. But not dark meaning negative, evil, or malign. Dark meaning simply yet to be illuminated. So the shadow is not bad. It is simply all the parts of us which are incompatible with who we think we are. The shadow has been defined by Robert Holden, the British psychologist, as anything within us that we are unwilling to love. Shamanic practitioner Yaakov Darling Khan defines it as anywhere that our fear is greater than our capacity for love, therein lies the shadow. And my Buddhist teacher Rob Nairn describes the shadow simply as anything within us that we are unwilling to face. When people think of the shadow, they often go straight to the darker aspects of themselves. They think of their shame, their fear, their phobia, their traumas, and all the other darker aspects of themselves that they hide from others. And yes, those things do make up aspects of what are called the dark shadow. Answers to questions like, what am I most afraid of? What am I most ashamed of? What do I hide from others? Form the dark shadow. But possibly even more important, and for many people, even more powerful, is what is called the golden shadow.